Well, here we are again in the Barty Chronicle shed. It's a lovely autumn day, the sun is shining and the birds are singing. What could be better than to start another project? This idea came to me early one morning, so I'm quite excited to see how it's going to turn out. Let's have a look at the materials I'm going to use. Apart from the electrical items, everything you see here has been scavenged. A pile of unwanted books, four draw knobs that I never used, a piece of discarded timber, a piece of chipboard that came off of a bookshelf, would you believe, and a lampshade I found in the loft. The first job is to prepare the baseboard. I'm going to make the baseboard just a little bit larger than the largest book. And I'm going to round the corners off as well to make it look a bit pretty. Don't like rectangular baseboards. Right, that'll do for now. The next job is to mark out the centre for where the lamp holder is going to be fitted and clean up and mark out where these little draw knobs are going to go. I'm going to use these as a feet. Now, because this chipboard has a, a lamination to it underneath this paint, I've got to clean it right off because the PVA glue I'm using won't stick those doorknobs to the baseboard. So I'm going to clean them next. Uh, and by the way, I'm going to be using a, a rotary rasp to do that. Good. I right, just need to uh, fix the feet on. I'll be using a PVA glue for this, like I did with the with the bottle lamp. Let's see if I can get it out. These should stick rather well. Now I've cleaned the lamination off. And there we are. Now we'll leave that to dry while we get on with the rest of the lamp. I just looked through the previous videos and I forgot to video me marking the board out, so apologies for that. Now, the next stage is to mark and drill a hole through the centre of each book. I've made a guide using a piece of chipboard, the same chipboard as I've used for the base. I'm going to clamp it on top to stop the pages lifting as I drill through. Lovely. Just another four to do. Now I'm going to glue each one with the baseboard using PVA glue. I'm going to clamp it using this piece of stud.
the, the stud allows me to centralise each one. I'm going to, I'm not going to have them too symmetrical, I'm going to offset them, make them look a bit untidy. Need some more glue. together sorry about the traffic we seem to have quite a lot going past today and there we are just before I put this to one side to dry I need to coat all of the page edges with PVA. This helps glue them together and gives a base for the paint finish. I'm going to put it on fairly liberally. let that dry now. Before I move on I need to cut six identical square sections from this piece of timber and drill a hole in the centre of each one. From this piece of chipboard I need to radius the corners and drill a hole in the centre. This will become the top plate of the lamp. Now to save a bit of time I'm going to use a bit of magic. Don't you just love the magic of film? Now that's done we can start with the assembly. Put those to one side. I've already made this up. We're not going to wire it just yet. That will be the last job. to be symmetrical. They're going to be a little bit random. Before we go any further I'm going to coat all of this top section and this column with PVA and let it dry before we go on to the, to the next stage which is the paint finish. Now this is nice and dry I'm going to give it a coat of grey primer then once that's dry a coat of gold paint. I want this lamp to have an old bronze look. I've masked up the lamp holder for obvious reasons.
I'm going to use a combination of brown, black and green acrylic paint to create a patina. Once the paint has dried a little bit, I'm going to rub it off with a rag. more than happy with that. Right, I'll just switch on my infill lamp so you can see. Let's see if I'll bring it a little bit closer. Let's focus in. There we go. Looks like old rubbed bronze. Lovely. So when that's dry it just needs a, a coat of, uh, of lacquer and uh, we can wire it up and here it is I thought I'd wire it up when you weren't looking so all we need to do now is put the shade on put the bulb in I should have been blessed with smaller hands or put a bigger shade on that would have been a better idea. And there we are. Lovely. Let's do a little fly pass like I did with the bottle lamp, if I can keep it steady enough. I think that's exactly the effect I wanted. Great. Well, that's another lamp done. And I'm very pleased with it. It turned out exactly how I hoped it would do. Now, just one more thing to do. I'm going to take it indoors and let Deborah have a look. After all, I did use her painting technique to get the brass effect. And I used her paints. Let's see what she thinks. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh cry. That's amazing. You like it? I love it. I love it. You can touch it. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed. My books. They're my, my books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying. I just found some on your side of the bookshelves. I'll just <laughs> Beautiful. Do you like it better than the champagne bottle? Um, personally, yeah. I, yeah. I, I would choose. I would choose that one because I love the books. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, how did you do it? Oh, you'll have to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not telling you. <laughs> it's a secret. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm going to keep a secret from you because I'm, I'm not telling you what I'm doing next week. I've got a few ideas. So. Really? Is it going to be a foodie one? Yes, yes, there's a hint. But, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, good. A choice for a couple of things. I'm not, I'm, I haven't settled on it yet. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I've got one in mind. Have you? Yeah, I'm going to make a pair of trousers out of uh, okay. beer mats. <laughs> I don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
No, I, don't, I, haven't got, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do next time. Yeah. I think I'll think of something. I think of something. <laughs> if you decide to make a lamp like this for yourself, make sure you get someone qualified to check the wiring for you. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that bell icon. Give it a really good ring. <laughs> And that's about all from us. That uh, till the next time. Yeah, till next time. Thank you very much for watching. Yes. Take Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you too. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye.